What? Do I know you? Uh, I... I'm your daughter. My name's Andrea. I brought you a gift. Look, kid. Do you think I'll fall for that? You're the sixth girl that comes here pretending to be my daughter. If your mothers were obsessed with me, that's not my problem. Go look for your real father, please. No, no, I... Okay, then what do you want from me? You want money? You're wasting your time. Get away from here. No, no, it's not that. I have proof. She's my mom. Patty? Yes. <laughs> yes, I remember her. I also remember how stupid she was for getting pregnant. I clearly told her not to have you. And I can see she didn't listen. Hmm? I was really looking forward to meet you. Look, I didn't need a daughter before. And I don't need a daughter right now. So go and tell your useless mother that if she sent you here to get my money, to get my fortune, you're wasting your time. You get away from me. Maybe I should have given her more money so she didn't have you. Then you wouldn't be here bugging me many years later. What did you expect that I would say, Daughter, welcome to my life. I'm so glad you could make it. Come, let's go get some ice cream. Eat it together while we take some pictures. Well, of course not. So just leave. Ah. Scram. Ah. And who was it, honey? Oh, uh, just another person who wanted to keep my fortune. Hey, I know you don't like to talk about this, but you've been unemployed for a while now, and sooner than later, that inheritance you brag so much about will run out. And I don't know if I can be with a man like you. Look, princess, you don't need to worry about that. Remember that I have everything under control. Besides, tomorrow I'll go to a job interview with the owner of the company. So just remember that no one says no to me. Mm, uh, that's my man. Uh, isn't I love that right? Make it like that. <laughs> oh. Who the? No, why are you caring, Dad? I told you to look after your knees. Come on, give me that. Oh no, ma'am, it's okay. It is okay, give it to me. Thank you, ma'am. But, but here, take this so you don't get dirty. No, 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 there's Come no on, need to. Come on, I'll get another one. Uh, well, thanks a lot, Hoodie. Excuse me. Sure then. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Are you stupid or what? You almost ruined my suit. What the hell are you doing here? Did you follow me or what? You're that poor? Answer me! I work here. You're such a liar. I'm sure you want my money. I'll give you a warning. Today, I have a very important meeting with the company's owner. So I don't want you anywhere near me. Because if you do, I'll make sure they kick you out. And I'll ruin your whole life. You're the cleaning lady, right? What a low job you have. A girl like you definitely cannot carry my blood. You're just as useless as your mother. So don't come anywhere near me. You get it? Good morning, Mr. Korsh. It's a pleasure to meet you. Good morning, Mr... Del Pozo. Rogelio Del Pozo. Take a seat, please. Thank you very much. You don't know how happy I am to have the opportunity of having this interview in this amazing company. I'm a huge fan of what you do in everything you do. I'm in both work and market-wise. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm sure you'll find in me everything you're looking for to fill the position and fit the company. I guarantee that. I like to hear that. Do you have your resume? Yes, of course. Here you go. Actually, I also have a presentation prepared. May I use that? Go May ahead. I? Thank you. Well, I can see you're a very prepared man. And I like that. 
Okay, tell me about this right here. We're basically showing a growth on the financial side of the company. Okay then, I think I have nothing left to ask you. You are a very capable person that fits the role perfectly for the company. I knew I was getting the job. Now, the only thing left is to have the interview with the CEO of this company. Um, the CEO of this company? Um, I'm sorry, I, I thought you owned this company. <laughs> no, no, no. I still have a long way to climb to reach the level she said. When you meet her, you'll see what I mean. Now, if you excuse me, I'll go get some papers and I'll see you at the lobby. Excuse me. Sure thing. Now, an interview with the CEO. And she's a woman. Well, it'll be a little bit easier. Women are so manageable. <laughs> you better go grab all your things, because starting tomorrow I'll be your new boss, and I won't allow that someone recognized daughter like you ruins my reputation in this company. You hate me that much? The only thing I wanted was the love of a father. I told you not to mention that in this company. So you better prepare your resignation and think about which other filthy and pathetic place you're working. Because I am sure your mother could not even afford your studies. Understood? You again? I'm so sick of you. You're like a tiny leech that no matter how hard I try, I can't get off me. What's with those clothes? What, you think that because you dress differently, I'll change my mind about you? Listen to me. This is my last warning. Get out of here before the CEO arrives because I don't want her to see me talking to someone of your level. Good afternoon. My name is Andrea Torres, and I'm the CEO of this company. <laughs> the CEO of this company? Where do I have to look? Which camera? Is this a joke? <laughs> it's nice to see it. I won't have to fire you. Because you'll get that all by yourself. With all these stupid kid games that you're playing. I won't change my mind. And I'll tell you something. Even if you're the owner of a thousand companies, I'd never accept you as a daughter. Andrea, I see you two already met. This is Rogelio del Pozo. He's our best candidate for the position. I'm sure he'll surprise you with the presentation he has prepared. Well, if you need anything, I'm available for you, okay? Thanks a lot, Haj. You can go now. Excuse me. Please, step into my office. I see you run out of words. So now it's my turn to talk. I was able to see your great ability to convince people you're a good person. Fortunately, I could see your true face. And I'm also not the person that you thought I was. <sighs> you didn't care to leave me without a father. And even less, abandon my mother without thinking how she would suffer to get me through. As you can see, she did it. Now I'm the owner of one of the most important companies in this country. Daughter, I... <laughs> daughter, now I'm your daughter. But a few seconds ago, you said, even if I had 10 companies, I'd never be. And I thank you for that, because I will feel very sorry to have People know when I have such a father like you. And now I'll ask you to get out. Look, daughter, Andrea, uh, boss, I'm begging you. I haven't had a job for a long time and money's running out. You're like an angel that came into my life. And I know you have a great heart, 
And with that great heart, I know you wouldn't allow your father to suffer. You don't know nothing. My mother made an extreme effort to give me education. And I felt like hell to get where I am now. So the best thing I can do for you is allowing you to learn the weight of your words. I don't want to see you again. So now stay away from my company. Get out. You are just like your mother. And I'm proud of that. Hush! Could you please show the exit to this gentleman? Please, I can do it. You are just like her. Please don't Get out. touch me. I know the way out. Excuse me. is one of the most important things in our life. But just like there are parents that love their children, there are some who make the decision to separate from them. And it can be hard to live without a father. But you must not let anything get in your way and accomplish your dreams. <laughs> <laughs>